Hey, everybody. We are lucky tonight. Are we, are we lucky, Mark? <laughs> Extremely lucky, Kerry. Extremely. Hey, hey, listen, I am absolutely thrilled about this book, and we are going to talk all about it. Folks, here's what I want you to do. We have some prizes to give away. We have Starbucks gift cards. We have iTunes gift cards. We have Amazon gift cards. We have the Lucky Formula quiz. We have what about the coin? Kerry? The what Lucky. About the coin? Oh my gosh! Put that way up there. That is amazing. I I want one of those. I'm going to Florida on a flight tomorrow. Just you're, to you're going to get one tomorrow, Carrie. You're going to get one. <laughs> All right. Well, listen. Here's what we're going to do. If you want a prize, here's how you get the prize. You have to be the most. Engaged. Tanya Rafali is on. Say hello to our peeps in Montreal, Carrie. Hey, we already are international. So. To get a prize, you need to be the most engaged member, which means you need to comment, you need to talk, you need to post, you need to share some things. We're gonna we're gonna feature some people's comments right here. But Mark, first of all, is luck a fluke or is it a formula? What it's do you think? Absolutely a formula, Carrie. I think you know this. Actually, you're you were my editor. You helped me tremendously on this book, and I. Hey. I appreciate it, but luck is absolutely a formula. You can stack the odds in your favor and cash in on success in my life is proof of that, but we'll get into that in a second, Carrie. I love it. You have David Samuel, your audiobook engineer. You you have you have Michelle. You have Hey, wow. hold on a second, Carrie. Let me give a shout out to David. Guess what he sent me as a gift? Ooh, the lucky oh pen. My gosh. The lucky pen. Montreal is in the house, but the lucky pen. So Dave, appreciate it. Oh my gosh. Hey, Jimmy Z's in the house. I Jimmy love it. Z, you got, you got Ricky, you got Tanisha, you got Lance. Wow. This is awesome. We have people jumping in. And folks, again, if you want the lucky coin, if you want the lucky uh, formula gift cards, post, share, tag a friend, because our world today thinks that you got to get be, be lucky to be successful. And Mark, I'm telling you, man, this book breaks it down. We're going to get into that. It is a formula. So first of all, the name La Chance, what does it mean? Well, I'll have to stop you right there because we have uh, some French Canadians on the call. We have Canadians on the call and international people. It's La Chance. So ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> La Chance that actually means lucky in French. And uh, so, you know, obviously it's fitting that the lucky formula is, uh, is, is written by Marc La Chance. But it's also, that was my nickname growing up. So, you know, the fact that I'm, there you go, Kareen, Kareen's in the house. So the fact that I, you know, I grew up with a last name like this and I had Lucky on the back of my hockey helmet. And I would say that maybe it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. I always felt that I was lucky from day one. So, so you know. good. That's so good. Um, hey, you even have your amazing family, Sonia and the boys. Yeah. The boys and Sonia are reading it together. <laughs> that is so cool. That is so cool. Tanisha's bought the book. Tanisha, Lori, nice. Lori P. Is Lori P. amazing or what? Oh, my gosh. Best book around to improve your success. Lori P. is awesome, huh? She is amazing. So we have the whole team here and, and lots of other people. So, Mark, I'm going to tell you that right now, if you flip on the news, the news is going to say politics this, COVID that. It's going to say economy this. It's going to say, you know, Russia that, whatever. It's, it's going to just basically um, vomit all over everyone. About, <laughs> that might be the operative word, but anyway. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, you know, I think that your book, I mean, listen, I just I just came back from a dinner at Eddie Merlot's. I'm speaking at an event. The people in that room were totally geared into your book. Why can you walk into certain settings and be like, oh, my gosh, I'm getting such a bad vibe. Everyone here is negative the whole world's blowing up and then you go into other environments and it's like people are on fire. Does this have something to do with the lucky formula? Well, absolutely. It's about focus, right? So part of the, part of the lucky formula to define it is um, it's internal mastery. So internal condition mastery mm -hmm. plus external condition mastery. And I'll explain this in a second plus action equals luck. So part of your internal conditions is what you focus on and what you, you know, the narrative you tell yourself. So if you're focusing on 
you know, what, what let's say mainstream media tells you or what, you know, the negativity is, then guess what's going to happen in your life. That's the story you're going to tell yourself. You're going to continue to tell yourself the negative story. But if you're focusing on, you know, if you're focusing on great things and building great things and growth and, and awesomeness, then guess what's going to be coming to your life. So I actually, I have a story from uh, Friday carry on that. Okay. So I was in, I don't think I told you the story, but I was in the uh, physiotherapist's office. I was getting my shoulders and my hips worked on. Okay. And right next to me was a guy. I have two stories on this. Right next to me was a guy and he was talking about cryptocurrencies and spouting off about investments and this and that. And then I, and I turned to him and I said, Hey, what do you, what do you do? What do you do for work? So the guy says, he says, I'm a hedge. I own a hedge fund. I run a hedge fund. I'm like, wow. So we start talking about cryptocurrencies, investments, and all this stuff. And lo and behold, the guy invites me into his office, and we, we strike up an amazing conversation. And so the best thing that came out of it is, is my, my investment thesis was, you know, was validated by a guy who runs a massive hedge fund, a multi oh multi Right? So it's about the conversations you want to have, or I'll even give you the, the fast forward to yesterday morning, the same place. A woman walks in. I told you this story today. Yeah. So a woman walks in and, and, you know, the therapist asks her, she says, he says, Hey, how are you doing today? I forget her name. I think Cindy. So Cindy's like, Oh, my back hurts. My knee hurts. I'm horrible. I'm horrible. So what story is this woman telling herself? Oh yeah. She's telling herself that life is horrible, but what, what story is the gentleman on Friday afternoon telling himself that life is possible, that things are possible. So it's where you put your focus. And it's so true. I, it's true. And it, it has nothing to do with your health. In other words, you've known people that have been terminally ill. I've known people that have been terminally ill. They're joyful. They're grateful. And you can have other people that, you know, spill a glass of milk and the whole world's cursed. Um, <laughs> you know, so, so it's not, it's not just, Hey, when things go your way, um, let's talk about this. Cause you, you, you first of all, let's give away a, a gift card. So Ricky, Ricky's my uh, Ricky's my person today. Ricky, let's give away. Ricky oh. wants a new story, so we're gonna tell a new story <laughs> soon. So, so Ricky, you pick a winner, my friend, and uh, slack me the winner, and I'll announce their name. And again, we're giving away gift cards to the most active, engaged people, the people who are commenting, the people who are engaging, tagging friends and say, Hey friend, you know, you need this. And by the way, David, look at David, M Mark, you attract positive vibes that train David Steifer. Steifer needs a coin. Steifer all right. Needs a coin. He gets one. All right. So Ricky, get <laughs> David's mailing address. Don't worry. We'll see David tomorrow. We'll give him a coin tomorrow. Oh, I love it. I love it. So, so Mark, um, let's talk about this internal mastery plus external mastery plus action we can, carrie if you can pull that back we can't see that there I'm, you go there you I'm go i'm sorry go. my bad exactly. so talk about go. that my friend okay talk so mm -hmm. internal so the formula again is internal mastery plus external uh mastery plus action equals luck so if you master yourself internally so for example you have a massive why and David, I know since I see his name pop up on the screen again, has a massive why. And Dennis might be on this call by now. He's got a massive why. And what does that mean? So I've got a why. Uh, I've got two whys, right? So one why is negative and one why is positive. So a story, Ricky, I don't know if you, you remember this story or not, but the story of me be working on the roof yes. uh, with my father in the summers and even in the brutal winters, right? So Back in, in 86, he came to me, the economy had just hit 87. If you remember the stock market crash, we're old enough, Carrie, to remember that. Yeah. So my father came to me, I think he just, uh, you know, he had a horrible year financially. And he came to me, he said, listen, you're going to have to come work with me if you want to continue to go to, to private school and then go to go to college. So I had to, I had to, I had to go work construction, put on the tool belt, get on the hot roof in the summertime, the, the blazing sun, you know, and, and my why is exactly that. My why is I never want to wake up in the morning, look outside and see that hot blazing red sun come up over the horizon and know that I'm going to have to be on that roof. And, wow. and you know, so that's, a, that's one of my, and honestly, it's one of my major whys. I will not pick up a hammer. I will not do anything in the house. I don't want to. So that's it. I love it. I love it. So you're literally talking about stacking the odds in your favor. Let me ask you, Mark, 
we have internal conditions. Is this the type of thing where you add up these different segments, components, and then they increase your chance of success? Do you need all 10? Well, they're pretty simple. They're pretty easy to stack on each other. So for example, when you wake up, you can knock off about five of these. So when you wake up in the morning, you, you know, you're going to talk to yourself in a positive sense. You're going to talk, you're going to acknowledge great things in your life. You're going to, you're going to remember, I do nine wins. Now I used to do three. Now I do nine wins of the day. So I have nine wins of my day yesterday. So I just knocked off acknowledgement. I do uh, affirmations. So I have nine affirmations. So the affirmations are, Carrie, we went over this before, but you know, I, I am amazing. I am healthy. I am wealthy. I am lucky. I am happy and so on and so forth. So if you have not those nine affirmations, so all of a sudden, uh, uh, that's a good why Steve Baker, that is a good why. So anyway, so Carrie, if you keep on telling yourself great things, affirmations, acknowledging great things in your life, and another tip is, is write down 20 things that you've done amazing in your life. So what are 20 things that Carrie, I'm sure you can come up with 20 like that, right? Everybody has something amazing. They've done or 20 things. Amazing. Are you a good mother? Are you a good brother? Are you a good father? Are you a good sister? Are you a good boss? Are you a good employee? Are did you win the race when you were a little kid? Did you win the gold medal? Did you win the spelling bee? Right. Uh, France, you can get the book. She asked where you get the book on, on Amazon right now, the lucky formula. So, uh, uh, anyway, so the, so there's many, many ways to, to acknowledge your greatness in your past. All right. So what did we, we already knocked off three things, right? And then next you have your recurring thoughts, your recurring thoughts. So catch yourself when you're telling yourself, Oh, my back hurts or my knee hurts or whatever hurts and flip that into uh, flip that into a better thought process. Well, um, yeah, yeah, my knee does hurt. My back does hurt, but I'm at the physiotherapist because I'm getting better. That's a different thought to have, right? That's so a good. much different thought. Um, physiology, how are you standing up, right? How are you smiling? On it? Do you wake up in the morning, Carrie, and look into the mirror and have this goofy smile on your face? I do have, <laughs> I do have a goofy smile. <laughs> <laughs> so do I, but so that's physiology. When you shake somebody's hand or you fist bump somebody, are you doing it with power, with strength, with authority, or are you kind of, you know, wimping along through life, Yeah. right? Uh, gratitude. Are you grateful, right? Are you grateful? That's another one. So all these are easily stackable on top of each other. Creativity. Yep. Here's a carry. One more is creativity, right? So for example, a few years ago, I was introduced to cryptocurrencies. Uh, so I got really creative uh, two years ago and, and, and literally listened to hours and hours and hours of video learning, you know, what a yield is, what uh, stablecoin yield is, where to invest, where not to invest. So I've done very, very well in crypto because I got curious, mm -hmm. right? So curiosity is absolutely a part of the, the uh, lucky formula. So good. So... I mean, I just, I just came from a dinner, Mark, where I met a ton of people and it's interesting because one of the gentlemen, they, 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 they both were amazing, but one of the gentlemen caught himself because he started to say, Hey, you know, we're not this big. We could get bigger. We could do this. We could do that. And I said, hang on, you just gave me a tour of your place. Do you know how amazing this thing is? Like, I had to catch him and he caught himself and he's like, you know what? You're totally right. But it's even that Mark, it's, it's, it's gratitude. I think you just said it. Um, yeah. Gratitude. So there's so many people that you're right. They're like, my knee hurts. Hey, you have a leg, <laughs> right? Right. Right. I mean, there's people today that don't have a leg. <laughs> so, so talk to us about acknowledgement and uh, the narrative and curiosity because you're the tick, you're, you're you're the CEO of a TikTok ad agency called Maxi Media. It's one of the largest ad agencies in North America. You've you've done super well with crypto. You've done super well with multiple businesses, and people might be like, "Well, Mark, you're just lucky." But let's share a little bit about the backstory. It you weren't always so lucky. Um, talk to us about what some of the low points. Well, let's, let's roll the clock back to 2006. Um, the clock, let's see. Yeah. Let's the calendar back to 2006. Um, so I'm, I'm fresh off a huge win. I just sold shares in a company that I 
was the third member of. And, you know, fast forward five years later. So we launched in 2001, fast forward to 2006. So there was about 250 employees and I sold my shares. And, and now I'm sitting with millions in the bank, right? Literally millions in the bank on top of the world, feeling like I could do no wrong or, or you know, anything I did would turn to gold. <clears throat> and then I made the colossal, you know, ignorant slash, I would call it, uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for, Carrie? The, the, the word where you, you think you can do no wrong. I'm looking for a word. But anyway, I made a mistake, a colossal Invincible. Mistake. Invincible, but arrogant is the word. Arrogant. Arrogant. Gotcha, Arrog gotcha. Arrogantly invincible is what I thought I was. So, so anyway, so I roll all of it into a real estate venture, literally all of it. And remember, you know, those of us who are old enough on this call, you remember 2006, 2007. Probably not the right time to to launch a uh, launch into a real estate. You didn't know it. Obviously, nobody knows the time what's going to happen. But anyway, fast forward a year, two thousand seven. Uh, I'm literally bankrupt because the whole thing went upside down. Mm. Basically, blew up in my face, <clears throat> and I'm on the verge of bankruptcy, sitting at my desk like this with stacks of bills sitting in front of me. And you know, I don't know if you've ever had that that literal visceral pain in your stomach from having financial issues. But I would have to say, look, finances aren't everything, but try, you know, going through life without it. It's tough. Like it's mm. difficult. And especially when you owe everybody money in the world and, and there is no, you know, no thought process around how to do it or no possibilities. So I had, I was in depression, went through, you know, tremendous anxiety for months and months and months. But then, you know, for some some way or somehow i had the strength to get out of it and uh but that was painful that was that was probably the worst that was the worst experience i've ever had in my life is bankruptcy look so i'm, I'm sure a lot of people have gone through bankruptcy or have gone through difficult times but uh you know thank god i i didn't go bankrupt i was this close though so anyway and that's then it. and then i'm telling you folks listen mark's book is like a movie it, it really is. I want to explain this book. There's there's two parts to the book. The first part, he says, my flaws. Okay. Who does that? Who does it? You know, most people just be like, oh, here's the formula. What Mark does with the flaws, folks, is you see that right at that point with depression, you know, K Kristen says, wow, what a story. Wait till you hear Kristen what happens. Because this is amazing. Kristen Labrush, Windsor, Ontario in the house. I love all it. right. All right. <laughs> so you call a friend, you reach out to a friend, and the friend basically says, Mark, I got a connection. Yeah. So, so you, you know, again, Mark could have said, I'm so unlucky. I shouldn't have invested, blah, blah, blah. Instead, you, you, you start putting the formula in the, in the, in the place. You, but the it, Carrie, the it was difficult though. I, I have to tell you, for at least six months, I was you know, woe is me on the couch, woe is yeah. me, woe is me. And then one day, I finally decided I enough was enough. You said, so, I'm gonna change my luck, I'm gonna change my luck from unlucky to mega lucky. So I'm gonna become Mr. Lucky anyway. So I picked up the phone and I called, called a friend of mine and I told him exactly you know what happened, and he was floored. And this is a guy that I had spent years with in the payment space. And we had done great things and built a massive company together. And he was floored. He's like, wow, I can't believe it. And what he did say is he did say, Mark, you might, this is your lucky day. He literally said that. Here's the number to my friend, Jeff, who just struck a deal with a bank that, uh, you know, and he's looking for somebody to run a company in Canada. And I was like, that's amazing. And my head almost blew off, but I'm like, that's amazing. But I have one problem, Todd. I don't have a penny to my name. I don't know how I'm going to come in and invest in this company and run it. And, and besides that, my confidence is shot. I don't know how I can do it. But, you know, fast forward uh, a few months later, I'm sitting in New York, literally the pitch of my life, the pitch of my life. I don't care if you've ever been there. If you've oh, I've been, been there. Right. So if you've ever been like in a pressure cooker and you just come oh, yeah. through. So look, I've always felt that I'm, I'm a playoff player. So that was, uh, that was one of them. So that was a playoff time for me to come through. So it was awesome. So you do the pitch of your life, but this is this is the craziest part of the story. The guy says to you, what, we'll hire you 
but you got to bring some money to the table. That's right. That's right. So you need to invest $200,000 at the time. That was the number. So I'm like, how am I ever going to come? I was dead broke, literally dead broke. And uh, I, I came up with a, with a, I'll call it a play, or I came up with a, an idea on how to raise the money. So it was a pretty ingenious, I have to say, <laughs> I have to say myself, but I, I was able to sell a Jimmy Z. I pulled the Jimmy Z. I was able to sell <laughs> shares in a company that I did not own yet, but we pulled it off and uh, made it happen and finally gave the shares to the company that I didn't own to the guy who bought the shares in the company that he didn't own. So it was, that was a pretty phenomenal uh, touchdown, as Jimmy G, Jimmy Z says. I think it's that gut check. I think you literally, because you, you nailed it. You said my confidence was low. People today, their confidence may be low. They may say, you know what? How did I get here? This is not the life I imagined. Mark, you know I talked about, um, you know, God, God watching out for you. So God gives you this crazy idea, but you didn't just get the deal. How many calls did it take? Because I want people to realize like, oh, Mark just, Mark just the first person he's, he called. No, 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 no. How many calls did you make? What do you, you think it's that overnight success, Carrie? So, you know. <laughs> I, I, I know it's not. I've read the book. It's fantastic. But I made, I made uh, 87 calls. So 87 no after calls. no, after no, after no, after no, until finally number 87 was the yes that I was looking for. This is why people look at Taylor Swift, Justin Bieber, whoever you want to call Johnny Cash, you know, back in the day. And they're like, oh, man, they're so lucky. Um, 87 calls. Huh? Probably on number eight, I would have been like, this stinks. I'm done. Um, <laughs> yeah, but when you're when your back is against the wall, when you're when you're fine, when you have no, when your no. back is against the wall financially, number one, but number two, when you have an opportunity to uh for something massive you're gonna move if if you know if you have that that winner in your core right why do you think why do you think the 87th person believed you maybe because it's sydney crosby's jersey number i'm just kidding uh well, <laughs> actually I, I don't know but 87 happened to be a guy that i did a lot of work with in the past that i made a lot of money for so number 87 was, was a guy, I, I was actually confident. I had a good gut feel that this one was it. Um, because part of the, the formula, by the way, is action. And within taking action is leveraging, using leverage. So I was able in that case to leverage my past, to leverage you know, all the good that I've done. So in, in a past business, I literally made this guy you know, thousands and thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of dollars. So did he feel like he owed me? Maybe. Did he feel like, you know, I could pull it off? Yeah, probably because, you know, my track record to that time was, was stellar. I hadn't, you know, I've made, you know, made tons of money and I had uh, up until that time, I had two mega successful uh, exits from companies. So, you know, he knew that about me and he knew that I can come back and he knew I wasn't going to just lie on my couch for another six months. <laughs> and so good. Yeah. So good. Well, and Mark, I even look at how, you've blessed my life, how, how we met. And again, luck, right? But the point is that you and I are on the same frequency. We're in a group together. I call it showing up filled up, but I was in a small group with you and I'm like, I like this guy. And, and I think you said the same thing, but now let's talk about the external conditions. Cause it might start with the internal game. But then you have to be somebody well, who, who But Carrie, before we get there, if if I can if I can uh, comment on me. one thing. Yeah, if I Talk if I can me. comment on one thing, the absolute game changer for me, game changer has been meditation because uh, I know a lot of people wake up at three in the morning, four in the morning with those voices in their head, cold sweats. Mm. So for me, you know, a certain meditation uh, technique that I use helped me get rid of those, those voices, get rid of that, that, you know, the craziness, the anxiety, the, uh, you know, just the crazy thoughts in your head and also help me focus. So a complete game changer. And Tim Ferriss talks about it in, in his book, tools of Titans where he interviews. And I think it's like 500 Titans of, of the world. I wasn't in it yet, Carrie, but I will be <laughs> anyway. So he, and 75% of them say that, that uh, meditation changed their lives and helped them focus and help them, uh, you know, get on the right track, which for me has been a key piece. So I, I don't discount 
you know, internal condition number 10, which is meditation at Ooh, all. That's good. That's good. Yeah. So a lot of people do the opposite of meditation. They, they say, I'm not at peace. Let me turn on the noise. Let me drink the substance. Let me plug in the news. Let me play the video games. Let me, you know, look at crap stuff. Like, in other words, they're, they're basically saying, let me, let me add to the noise. You're saying, let me quiet the noise. Let me cancel the noise. Cancel. Get rid of the noise. That's right. That's so good. Why do you think it, why do you think we need to go quiet to really hear? Well, you, you heard me, I used the word gut feeling. Mm. I think it helps you if you're quieting your inner voice, it helps you get to that gut feeling, right? So it, you, you increase your intuition, you increase your, your ability to, I'm going to call it manifest even. So, oh, and, and, you know, in the quiet times and outside of the noise is the best time you can manifest or think or create. Mm. And a lot of times now, a lot of times, some of the best business ideas I've ever had is I wake up at three in the morning with that idea. No longer is it that, that voice telling me, oh, you're going to be fired tomorrow and the board's letting you go and all this craziness. But it's you're quieting the inner bully like Carrie, Carrie says, the other Carrie. And, uh, and, and you're allowing creativity to come in, which is another you know, key factor in the, in the uh, formula as well. I love it. I love it. Here's our first winner. Ricky just posted to me. So this person is going to win. How about the lucky package? How about they get the lucky formula book and the lucky formula coin? Can we do that, Mark? Absolutely. The book okay. and the coin. And who, Ricky, who does it go to? It goes to Tan, T-A-N-I-A. Tanya? Tanya. Tanya. Tanya, which Tanya is there? Tanya maybe? Raphael. Oh, Raphael from Montreal, from St. Leo in Montreal. There you go. I love it. I love it. Tanya uh, winning. She's got it. it. She's, she's got the it. Big winner. I love it. <laughs> oh yeah, Natasha. There are prizes. In fact, Mark, there's a big prize. Everybody. Oh, the, there's a few big prizes. Let me tell you about this, folks. The grand prize. Again, what is Mark's business? The largest uh, TikTok ad agency in North America, what one of the top ones. So here, here's what the ultimate prize is. A 30-minute consultation that normally costs thousands and thousands of dollars. We're picking a winner, and you're going to get private time with Maxi Media, where you're going to get coached on how to blow up your own social media. Is that good or what? So talk about some of your team. Some of your team has millions. Yeah, well, we've got uh, actually down here with us, we've got a couple of them right now. And one of them has just a hair under 2 million followers on TikTok, which is incredible. Um, and over 200,000, uh, just about 200,000 on Instagram as well, which is incredible as well. And the other one, uh, she's got uh, about a half a million dollars on, on TikTok and I think around 20 or $30,000 on- uh, Her followers. Uh, sorry, followers. <laughs> Uh, followers on Instagram. So, you know, these people are, our team has been able to generate awesome, you That's know, crazy. an awesome following on both platforms and uh, they're completely crushing it. So millions of followers is right, Carrie. So we are going to give away a uh, 30 minute one-on-one -on -one consultation with Maxi Media. It's huge. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to give everyone your keynote speech from Igniting Souls Conference a lot of people here were there. So Jimmy Z, Tanisha, Andrea, Steve, Carrie says that's huge. It was it was incredible. Um, Mark, I know when you do a keynote speech, it's not a cheap thing. Your your you know companies are reaching out to you. This book's gonna go big uh, next week. Today's launch day, but watch watch this, folks. Mark's on several big shows. This thing's blowing up. Anyway, what is that link? Is it is it marklachance.com or the luckyformula.com where everyone can opt in and we'll get them the keynote, we'll yep. get them the quiz, all that stuff. Okay, well, first the quiz is at theluckyformula.com slash quiz. Again, theluckyformula.com slash quiz. So that link is it's actually the lucky quiz itself. So it's in the uh 
in the uh, uh, in the messages. So anyway, so what is the lucky quiz, Carrie? It's a quiz. It's uh, a quick quiz, about 20 questions, but they're very simple and very easy to answer. And it scores you on your lucky score on a scale of one to, to 100. So it tells you how lucky you are. And if you happen to be lucky, so you can actually, if you happen to be lucky, it, it scores you and it gives you tips and tricks how to get luckier. And if you happen to not be as lucky as, as you know, as somebody else, then it tells you tips and tricks on how, how to increase your success and increase your luck. So there you go. Exactly. Oh my gosh. So you, you just launched this thing. You already have almost 500 people that have taken this free. And course. those, by the way, are legitimate, all, by the way, just so you know, those oh, yeah. are all legitimate quiz takers, all of them. Oh yeah. So it, it's pretty months. easy. And, and by the way, it carries very intuitive and very intelligent and it gives you really actionable, uh, tips and tricks on how to get lucky, how to, how to I attract luck. So it. again, it's the lucky formula.com slash quiz. All right. And right <laughs> and, at the bottom, you can and see by the way, questions, 20 and, questions. Yeah, go for it. All, all are legitimate except for this one, Carrie. What's that? <laughs> all the, all the quiz takers are, uh, oh, yeah. real, except I'm for just this doing one. this one. Cause I, I want to see, I, I want to see at the end, at the end, you actually give them what you give them, uh, prompts you give them tools that's right how to increase their their chance of success i love it so that's folks right. um steve says i got i got oh are you marketing the quiz on tiktok what what do you think mark well we're marketing right now on facebook and instagram natasha so that's going very well actually and we're, we're gearing up on tiktok as well so the answer is yes but not yet very soon okay so folks before the quiz blows up where you can't even, you know, where it crashes, go over there now and take it, take it right now. Um, I love the website too, Mark. Let's, let's, let's talk a little bit about this. So, um, oh, this is so good. You have bonuses. Watch this folks. Now we're going to go to marklachance.com. By the way, let's, let's, we're going to give away an Amazon gift card in the next three minutes. So again, most engaged member tag somebody. Um, but let's go right now to marklachance.com. Talk to and us. By, about by the way, Carrie, I'm going to give a shout out to Natasha Miller. She had me on her, uh, her podcast the other day and Ooh, it was awesome. Nice. She's, she's a beast. She's a complete beast. So Natasha, thank you very much for, for having me there. And, uh, are you marketing the quiz on TikTok? Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 Anyway. Yeah. So yeah, she's a complete beast, uh, Carrie. So when we're running a high end event, she'll uh, she'll be involved because that's what she does. Ooh, so, yes. okay, I love it. I love it. So talk to us a little bit about this um, this website here. Basically, I know you've been in a, a ton of different business uh, write ups. Of course, all your social media is here. People can take the quiz. They can order the book, and uh, uh, you you know here you are at our conference. I love it, man. You got a you got a huge uh shout out there but you also have these bonuses as well going on um what, what what's going on with with some of these bonuses here well we have uh why don't you go down scroll down there for a second carrie and we'll go so so we've got a bonus where we can ask me anything so i guess they call them an ama so we've got a bonus number one which is a 45 minute uh one-on-one -on -one ama with myself and Love it. Any question about business, about blitz scaling, building businesses. So to give you kind of an idea of my background, if people don't know, I've uh, I built right now, it's I think it's six, uh, four successful businesses that that went, eventually went public. Wow. And then many others that have been very successful, two, other, two others that have been highly successful. I've had that, you know, that mega, mega colossal failure. But uh, without failure, yeah. Carrie, you don't learn. So failure is right. good, I have to say. That's right. Um, so, you know, look, the, the questions can be wide ranging from, from how to build a business, how to stack the odds in your favor, how to, how to do the lucky formula each and every day, you know, it could be anything. And number two is, you know, a digital copy of the book, the lucky formula, we'll, we'll give that away as well. And then the lucky formula infographic. That, that is cool. You, you even talk almost an NFT carry almost <laughs> you, but you talk about the right food. You talk about, um, patterns and sleeping in the book i mean somebody one of the amazon reviewers said like this book is it's got it all i mean it's got it's got investment it has nutrition it has health but why do you think you bring in so many 
holistic elements? Does, does luck affect every element of our lives? Well, I, I think each one of these elements will affect your luck or chances of attracting luck or chance of catching luck, right? So if you, here, here's an example. So we didn't go over external yet, but crew, right? Crew, what does that mean? Crew means the people you hang around with, right? Mm -hmm. Crew means your circle of influence. Crew means, so, you know, David's on the call right now. So David, I obviously consider one of my crew. And if you're hanging around with people that think like that and, and have circles of influence like he does, and people like Carrie and, you know, people that think like Carrie, you're obviously going to think differently. You're going mm -hmm. to, you know, you're going to think about possibility. You're going to talk about possibility instead of woe is me. You're going to be not a victim, but a victor, right? Oh, you're yeah. going to be, you're going to be excited for life to have the conversations with people that think bigger and, and, and a lot of people might be fearful of people that are, let's say smarter or bigger or richer or whatever they are. But I think that's the wrong way to look at it because people that have gotten to that particular level, they like to help people. Yes. Right? They like to give their knowledge. That's one of the reasons I wrote the book. I like to give my knowledge. I have a lot of knowledge. I have a lot of success in life. So I, I think that, you know, it's your duty to, to tell the world your story and your life and your success and how to do it. So crew is, is a big piece of the, of the external condition. Right. So, and yeah. what about physical training? What about being in tip top shape? What about, that's right. So David says, choose your team carefully if you want to win, right? So get in, so the next you know piece is physical training and stretching. So if your body is in tip-top shape, there's a good chance your mind's going to be in tip-top shape. There's a good chance your, your energy is going to be vibrating at a better level, right? So, I mean, I, there's been times in my life where I've been out of shape, overweight. And those are the times when I, I get no attraction, no... You know, nobody be those are the times when I'm in, in sort of a slump or a downer. Yeah, so because your, you feel that way. That's right. And and how you feel is what you the the uh, what you give off, the vibrations you give off, and those vibrations are <laughs> you know, are either attractive or repelling. It's it's pretty simple. Mm. I love that. I love that. So Mark, why do you think and, and it's true, but you see successful people hang out with successful people. Uh, there's certain people that you're in their presence and you, you start getting afraid. Like, have you ever been around people that, that are just, I, I've had this where they are so dialed in to fear that you find yourself like, oh my gosh, I'm starting to get nervous. And, and it's not that we have weak minds, but your environment affects things. I mean, this is why Absolutely. people go to a certain school because they know that if they're part of that team, it's a winning tradition. You see what I'm saying? I mean, there's Absolutely. certain schools that you go to that school because of the reputation. So I think you're onto it, man. Like lucky environment. Lucky environment. Absolutely. Again, it's the conversations you're having. Are you, are you having the victim conversation? Or are you having the victor conversation? Are you, are you talking about huge things? Look, the universe is always expanding, right? We're in expansion mode. So if you're not growing, you're contracting. So are you having growth conversations? Or are you having contraction conversations? Wow. I would much rather have that lucky environment, which is growth conversations that I, I, I can't do the, I, I just, my mind won't allow it anymore because I've trained myself to, to not have those repelling conversations. I just, yeah. I mean, but that's not to say that you, you run into anything blind either. You also, you have to look at the downside always the goat, <laughs> you have, you have to look at the, uh, you have to look at the downside, right? So when you, when you're running into any venture, what's the downside, what's the potential downside, but you can mitigate your downside by hanging around with people that have been there by asking the questions to the right people. Right. So look, there's a lot of tips and tricks that you, you can learn from hanging around with successful people. That's for sure. Here's even just a little thing in your book. And by the way, it was so fun to read it. You talk about the one guy who landed in Montreal in banking and he's like, what's wrong with these people? They don't even speak English. And, and he like basically ripped on the whole country and he's repelling and yet you're there and you're like, oh my gosh, the opportunity here is amazing. You blew up 
you took it to the next level. That other guy went went straight down. I mean, this is not it's not rocket science. But t- tell us a little bit more about yeah that that, that, that story is incredible. That's actually I I didn't write that in the book, but that story is about about the the payments company that I started in 2009 with the guys from New York. So it was just after I signed the deal, just after I had invested that money and they had another company in Ottawa or actually, no, sorry, outside of Toronto uh, in Canada, which is near Niagara Falls. And they had another company they had invested in a couple of years earlier and they actually wanted to merge the two companies. Mm. And, you know, so I'm like, okay, let me see. So I had met the, the two owners of that company and, and right away I got that uneasy, no chance. And then they came to, uh, they came to Montreal and it, the first thing they said, the first thing is, you know, what's up with, what's up with all this French, blah, 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 uh, a beep. I'll, I'll, I'll put, I'll put expletives in there. Right, right. And, and, you know, as soon as he said that, I'm like, all right, first of all, you're narrow minded. You, you don't, you don't use the lucky formula, not creative at all. And if you, if you understood anything that, you know, the company that I started has 250 employees only focused on the market, uh, the English marketplace with our salary structure that is much, you know, at the time it, it's equalized now, but the salary structure was way better being, you know, located in Montreal than anywhere else. Mm. So it was anyway. So the point is, um, you know, I, I knew what I had and yeah, I had the confidence that that was the right marketplace to be in. I eventually won. I won the, the sort of tug of war on who was going to lead the company. And those guys were, were out. And then I, I maintained the, the leadership of the company, which is awesome. And we had great success. So, you know, it's true though. You watch, you watch athletics, like a guy like Tom Brady, or, you know, there's uh, amazing um, female athletes, different sports. Um, you know, I think about that, that uh, Pat, the college coach female who won like 13 championships in basketball. There's just certain people that you bet on them. You know, like if, 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 if somebody's going into the battle, you just, you just bet on certain people. And I think it has to do with the lucky formula. Tell us the Tony Robbins story, the Tony (laughs) Robbins story. I listen when, when, before I, you know, before I started working with you, you shot me your manuscript and I read it and I said, Oh my gosh, I like this guy. I like this guy because he stood up at the Tony Robbins conference. That's something I would have done, but, but it, it took massive guts. Uh, Lance says, sit down, Mark, tell it, tell us the story. Cause this is a hilarious story. <laughs> Big shout out to Lance, by the way. He, uh, he got us our house here in, in Florida. Oh, nice. And job, uh, we, we, we actually negotiated a heck of a deal. And I will say, Carrie, I lost you there for a second, but it's I was all good. Say, I'm coming back. I will say that, you know, part of the lucky formula is, is personal development. And so <laughs> And reading, and obviously one of the books, one of the best books, Lance, you remember this one, is Never Split the Difference. Yes. I don't know if you've read that, but anyway, I have. We, we used the skills, or at least I did, to negotiate that deal. And, and I think got a heck of a deal on a house. So anyway, so pr- obviously personal development and learning and creativity is, <laughs> is, uh, is part of the formula. And reading and reading and reading huge (laughs) reading and reading and reading is is part of the formula as well so carrie i actually lost my train of thought oh oh, tony robbins tony robbins so so you're at this event and you know first of all you don't even have the finances to be at that event but you know tell people this story because i'm reading this book and i'm like oh my gosh i like this guy um you know yeah go yeah so the story actually has its genesis uh, from the launch of, of the payments company in 2009, which is called Evo Canada. So the company launches 2009, we rocketed right out of the gate, completely out of the gate. Um, we went from one employee myself to, uh, we had about 215 by, by the end of 2010. So mm. about a year and a half, we went like a rocket ship. So we had a, a sales model that we used uh, feed on the street, non-salaried sales executives in every single marketplace across Canada. So we had about 115 in every single marketplace. We had telemarketers booking appointments for, uh, for these sales executives. We had managers managing. We had, we had uh, customer service. We had legal. We had HR. We had a big company. And you know what happens often is, is entrepreneurs – 
And if you're an entrepreneur and you have a small business, just think to yourself, is this you? Uh, I call it the entrepreneur's dilemma. Mm. You believe that you have to do everything, that mm -hmm. you are the smartest in the room. You have a massive ego and you don't allow other people to take any space and, and, and do creative things. So that was me. Wow. Right. So I had my email box was filled probably a thousand emails with every single thing that was happening in the company, all sales, all customer service complaints, all, you know, telemarketing issues, every issue, this issue, that issue, cancellations. It was it, or even, you know, it was insane. The entrepreneur's dilemma. That's right. So it was insane. And I was sitting there completely a year, only a year and a half in stressed out of my mind. I literally wanted to hang up, hang up my, uh, my tie and walk out of the office mm -hmm. and literally leave the company that I founded and led to, you know, with the help of some great people, but led to 215 employees, um, and profitable by that time. So actually not yet. We were just on the verge of profitability, but you know, we were ahead of the curve, but anyway, I was stressed out of my mind. It was December, 2010. And I'm sitting on my computer. I'm like, I need help. I, I, I can't take this anymore. So I, I start typing into my computer, uh, business coaching, business mentorship. And lo and behold, who keeps on coming up? But Tony Robbins, Tony Robbins, Tony Robbins. As the business mentor that he is, he's a beast. Mm. So he had an event called Business Mastery that was coming up in, uh, in about three weeks from that time. But it cost about $10,000. And at that mm. time, I still wasn't fully healed financially from my big colossal failure. And right. But I said, you know what? I have to do this because if I don't do this, I'm probably going to have, you know, uh, <laughs> some kind of, of physical reaction mm. uh, or, or physical ailment from the stress that I'm going through. So the first thing we learned when we walked through the door is that you are the problem. Your business is not, you know, your business is, is stagnant or not growing. You're the problem. Mm. And I was like, that was like, a shock. And then, you know, it was funny because the gentleman sitting right to my right side is a gentleman on this call, David. So, wow. so part of the lucky formula is going to events like this because you meet, you know, you're in proximity to other people. That's right. Chris Voss, Lance, uh, other people that, that think like yourself. So David was there anyway. So there was a, uh, a section in the conference, uh, and the section was, uh, sorry, the conference was broken up into uh, every day he had about five different sections, which broke down every single aspect of your business. And each mm. section was about two to three hours long. And he would bring an expert in to, to discuss in detail each section. But this section was about sales funnel. And Tony was, Tony was like, I'm going to take this on myself. And he broke down the sales funnel. So, you know, the funnel looks like this on the top of the funnel, you've got your lead database. You know, and then you've got your call and your ratios and your visits and your, you know, revisits and then ultimately your sales. So he literally spoke about tweaking every aspect of that sales funnel and, mm. and increasing your sales by like 300%, you know, if, if you did it right. So sure. then he was looking and I knew he'd be looking for somebody in the crowd to interview because that's what he did. He interviewed somebody, broke down their business. And either, you know, celebrated that person or broke them down too, right? So yes. So I said, look, I'm going to be that person. I have to be. Mm. So I stood up and uh, I stood up in the middle of the crowd. I can't remember. I had three or 4,000 people at this event. And you know, I could feel people like sort of, you know, looking at me and burning holes in the back of my head with their, with their angry eyes, like sit down, sit down. <laughs> but I wasn't going to sit down. I was like, no way. I'm standing up. I'm going to be the guy that he interviews. And, I'm and, and, be that guy. and this wasn't like, I stood up for a minute. This is like, I think in the book, you say something like, I don't know, like 15 minutes. Or something. It, was, it was about 15 minutes. Exactly. So nuts. I'm standing there for That's 15 nuts. minutes while Tony speaks and talks about the, uh, uh, the, the sales funnel. So finally in his raspy baritone voice, sir, how can I help you? So I said, look, I want to be the guy that you interview because this is exactly my business. What you're talking about is exactly what I do. And so he, uh, we, we start going at it and 45 minutes later, I get a standing ovation. I get a stack of business cards like this. If you take your business public, I want to buy shares. I want to buy shares. So it was pretty, pretty phenomenal. <laughs> but see, some people would say, Mark, you were just lucky. No, no, no. You basically engineered your luck. You said, I got to do something to stand out. Um, I think in the book, you even say like some guy gave you a tip, but here, no, here's another, here's another piece to this. Right. So yeah. I engineered my luck a couple of ways. I stood up number one, and then I went to the guy who signed me into the, uh, into the business mastery, uh, event. 
So I went to him, I found him and I'm like, listen, how do I get to be one of the guys? How do I get to be one of the guys that Tony interviews? And he's like, well, look, look what they're doing. Stand up. Look at that guy's doing stand up, stand up. And I'm like, you, you know, so he, the guy liked me already. He, so I think on the back end, he helped me as well, but think of what I did. Right. So I connected, I had an energy bridge with this gentleman. He liked me already. I had a great conversation with him and I had authentic conversations and, uh, and lo and behold, I don't know how I was the guy Tony picked, but I was. So was it the fact that I had the, the coyotes or the, the fortitude to stand up for 15 minutes and getting yelled at by everybody? Or was it the fact that this guy liked me and maybe tipped Tony off in the back? I don't know. But Or, or is it the fact that you practiced the 10 internal conditions before you even met the dude, physiology, gratitude? You know what I'm saying? Like That's right. In other words, you stack the odds in your favor. And and this is where again I'm I'm a person of faith, but some people who are of faith might be like, well, gee, I don't really get that book. I get this book a hundred percent. Like, you know, when David killed the giant, he also practiced his slingshot. You know, <laughs> you know, like I think sometimes we just say, oh, you know, it just happened. No, 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 it's practice it's work hard it's take action and absolutely you know be in the right place at the right time absolutely so i love this but it didn't stop there a, a, a loser would have said okay tony interviewed me cool you said i'm going to take the next step and i got to be around better faster smarter richer people instead of investing 10k which you had to, you had to borrow to get there or you, it stretched now how much did you invest who did you meet from the next group this is where people got to catch this so the next group was multiples of that number carrie it was it was to be exact it was six times that number to join the next group and uh but what came out of it and again it's proximity right it's it's who you surround yourself with is the success you gain so at that event, there were billionaires in the crowd and, you know, there, there were billionaires, sorry, in the crowd, but on a stage as well. So I don't know if you've ever heard of a gentleman by the name of T Boone Pickens, but he's a, he's an oil tycoon from, I think it's Houston. And he was at the event and he was talking about how, um, you know, the oil uh, markets. And he was talking about how his story, how he made, you know, incredible amounts of money growing up, growing, he came from nothing to, to massive success, but Tony asked him a question. He's like, he's like, T, if you can give a tip right now to one of to our people, how can how can they uh, how can they take one of your tips in investing in the oil markets right now and uh, and and profit from it? So he basically gave us uh, I forget exactly what it was, but it was a how to buy futures on on the oil exchange. And so I bought literally about futures, and I made the quickest thirty thousand dollars I ever made in my life from the tip that T Boone Pickens gave us. So it's incredible, right? So $30,000 in literally five minutes because of the tip that, that we were given by T Boone Pickens. So it's so uh, crazy. That is so crazy. I mean, so that almost paid for the event if you think about it, right? Ooh, I like that. <laughs> so, I like that. So our next winner, uh, the people picked, so I'm getting slacked the messages. It's blowing up. Carrie Arend gets Ooh. the amazon gift card so big shout out to carrie and in fact in fact look at what carrie said like david mark took on the giant like you guys and you took in T tony robbins so. oh he's a giant you've ever met him he's, he's a giant, giant. <laughs> he's got these massive hands. yeah his hands are pretty big so i love this um we only have five minutes left folks um get the book Get the book. Listen, we've seen this happen before, and you think I'm joking. I'm not joking. Amazon will sell out. And you're like, how is Amazon going to sell out? We've seen this happen before. We do these launches. Mark is on so many shows coming up. He's blowing up. Next week, you watch where this book's going to be on Amazon uh, next week. So uh, what I'm saying is get your book now. Now, the audio book will release on the 23rd. So all the people who want that. But Mark, we got just a few minutes left. Can you go through any other ones that you want? 
Yeah, I mean, one of the uh, another external one. So, for example, language. Here's a good one. So you, you've got obviously other ones: sleep, nourishment, language, stress management, personal development, supplementation. But language. How do you speak to others? So I think I gave you actually this is a good example. Alex, who uh, who helped me uh, craft the book in the beginning, right? So he was in the car with me. Yes. And he's like, I don't get the language part. Can you explain that to me? So I, I looked at him right in the eye. I pulled over, of course, because I was driving. But I said, Alex. I love your writing. I love your ideas. Your creativity is unbelievable. You're, you're, I, I can't, whatever you've written and sent to me as examples, I can't put it down. You're phenomenal. And I could see him perking up and perking up. Right. So then, uh, <laughs> so I said, how do you feel right now? And he knew what I was doing. He knew that I was pumping him up, but it was authentic because I actually truly believe that his writing is phenomenal and incredible. So if you're authentically telling people, uh, using positive language and, and authentically telling them how great they are, I'm going to tell you what's going to come back to you. Chances are that Alex will tell somebody how great I am and that person will tell somebody. So it's this sort of, you know, the network effect. Oh, yeah. Oh, the yeah. Network effect and positivity towards you. So language is everything. Now, on the flip side, if you're destroying people with your language, what do you think is going to happen? So. You are so right. And by the way, Steve says you ran out of your book at the conference and I'm not, he's right. You did. <laughs> you were, you were the top seller. But the, the point is this, just the other day I was at the airport. One is it in the airport yet, Kerry? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but, but I'm going to share a story about how one person must have read your book and one person must not have, because watch this, Mark, the flight gets canceled. One guy goes up to the counter and starts yelling at the lady, you know, what, who do you think you are? And blah, 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 blah. And he just yells at her and yells at her and yells at her. And uh, the lady's like, sorry, there's nothing I can do. The next person. She shut up, off. She didn't want to help him. Obviously. She didn't want to help him. Exactly. The next person comes up. I'm not even joking. It's a true story. And says, um, how's your day going? And, uh, you know, I just want to thank you for, for being here. I'm sorry that guy just treated you that way. And um, he just said, you know, thanks. Thanks for being here. I know that a lot of times the flight industry doesn't get enough credit. And she just was sincerely took the compliment. And then she said, well, what can I do for you? And, she, and he said, you know, I know it's probably not going to happen, but um, I really wanted to get to this flight for this reason. And she's like, hold on, let me see what I can do. Boom, here's your ticket. Listen, I mean, this stuff is, it, again, the outsider will be like, it's it's woo-woo, it's crazy. It's just, it works. It works when you teach, when you, when you value people, people value you. Absolutely. It's not a secret. All right, it's man. It's a formula. Right. It's a it, formula, it Karen. Luck is not a fluke. It's a formula. I cannot wait to get my coin tomorrow. We're going to launch this book. We're going to launch hey, this book. Before yeah. we go, I just give people the, the quiz again. So oh, yeah. if you guys yeah. want to take the lucky quiz again, if you're just jumping on, it's yeah. uh, you can get the lucky quiz, which gives you your lucky score. Thank you, Tony Rafali. Thank you very much. Um, the lucky quiz is at theluckyformula.com slash quiz. And again, it's going to give you your lucky score. And uh, tell you your your luck, your ability to to attract luck on a scale of one to a hundred. So go ahead and take that. It's free and it's awesome, and it gives you tips and tricks on how to get even luckier. Absolutely fantastic! I love this book. I spent a lot of time learn literally learning this system from you. You better be applying it, Carrie. That's oh, I am. I I am. At, oh, look at this! Look at how many people just. Oh took wow. It. That's awesome. So, so, uh, so we're, we're, it was I'm at what? You folks, um, get, get, start taking this thing, get the book. Um, hopefully you can see my screen. It already has 16 reviews and it hasn't even launched in all the countries. Um, Amazon's already liking it. And it, Canada, you know, by the way, Carrie's launching in, uh, on the 21st of November. 21st. Yep. Kindle, Kindle's telling everybody to grab it. Um, we got to give away the one-on-one -on -one. and I know you got, you got a big interview here in about 15 minutes. So we got to yep. roll, but, um, drum roll and Ricky, I want you to pick the one-on-one -on -one maxi media, maxi media, uh, TikTok, thousands of dollars worth of value here. 
Um, I'm looking at my uh, at my uh, Slack. So I want you to Slack me the person. She's typing it. I can see, I can see it saying that she's typing it. Um, and then Mark, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you get the uh, last word. So the winner is. And I hope this person isn't on your team. If it is, just tell me we'll repick somebody. <laughs> this person is um K-A-R-I-N-E. Karen. Kareen. 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 Is she on your team? Is she on your team? <laughs> no, she's uh well, she's she's part of a another business that we have in the fitness and nutrition business. So she's not she's not on our maxi team. No. Okay. Would she would she benefit? She, I she, think benefit. she would. Sure. She wants she wants she, to take look it. She's already excited. Yes, look at her. She says yes. Look at so that. So she, I guess she wants that. Um, okay, Andrea and other people are saying me, me, me. So here's the point, folks. Stay connected to Mark. Seriously, get this book. You're going to love it. It's going to help you in life and business. Mark, what do you want to say? Because I know your 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 wife's watching. Your sons are are awesome, um, and uh, your whole team is here. Julia's here. Cameron's here. What do you want to say to, um, you know, Lori Pease here? I, the, you know, the book is dedicated to your mother um, who, who you know, passed this summer. I mean, how do you feel right now just with all the love that you've been getting? Well, yeah, it's dedicated, dedicated to my mom. She passed in June and, uh, you know, she was always very, very happy-go-lucky and, you know, somebody that supported us to no end. So part of the, you know, mm. obviously part of the, the formula is there's family involved, which, you know, I believe that my parents did a great job. Um, they did, they did an amazing job raising three crazy boys <laughs> and, and, but they had our backs no matter what. So I believe you have to have your, your, your family's back and be on the side of your family. So, um, you know, anyway, so yes, my mom, uh, that's, it's a tough conversation to have, but you know, then that happened, <clears throat> that happened this summer, Carrie, as you know, Yeah, yeah. and, and you know, coming to the end of, of writing the book. And uh, so that was, it was actually at a tough, very tough time in, in this process, but that's true through it. And she would only want us to be happy and she would definitely be here listening to us, uh, to us on this conversation. That's for sure. She is, she is hearing it and she is proud. And I know your, your sons are proud and, and Sonia's proud and we're all proud of you, man. So can't wait to celebrate with you in Florida. You're so important to me. I'm hopping on a plane and I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to be there with you tomorrow. Can't wait. And uh, thanks everybody for getting the book. Uh, you watch this, pay attention to Mark. You haven't seen anything yet. He's going crazy places. So <laughs> thank you, Mark. All right, Gary. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, my friend. We'll see you. Have everybody. an amazing night guys. Thank you everybody for joining. Bye.